Hello guys, welcome back and in this lesson, which is our last lesson, I decided to end this course here um, or rather let me say all these lessons here because I believe I've taught everything that can get you started and you know start building a real application for to solve a real world problem, alright? So the things that have remained, they are kind of more advanced which I'll create a uh, individual lessons for those things and then you can be able to follow up but for this course you can end it here and then go build something that you want explore anything that you want and for this lesson which is going to be a very short one i'm going to show you how to use session storage so session storage as of course you know or you have worked with php any kind of backend uh you know framework or language you understand that you can be able to store data in session even so uh, when i go to when i go to my list task now for example if i let me just do a refresh quick first here so if i do something let us say i search for something and then this data is not on the database what happens is that if i do a refresh again this data will be lost and simply because this data has not been stored on a session or has been cached so this data will be lost so what you can do in LiveWire, let me just take you through the documentation. You see, you can use what we call the session properties, all right, or session story. So it's very simple. And in our case here, what I want, I want when the user types this, I want to keep the search, you know, the search query in the session so that when he, ref when he or she refreshes the page, uh, the search query will be maintained and will show the data that is expected. So it's very simple straightforward so you go to your your class here and use this guy by the name hashtag uh session all right so it tells me to import of course is this one here and then this session you can pass a, a key a key is a unique identifier for that session value all right so you can pass a key but i don't i'm not going to do that is uh because I'm just using only one search. Maybe you have different searches that you want to use, you can pass a key. So as you have been shown here, session key, you can pass a key. You can also pass dynamic data even to this session. For example, you can pass, uh, let us see, you want to pass author ID, you can do something like this. This is all that you need to do in order to use the session you know, uh, properties. So now if I go to my guy here again, so once I've done a refresh now, I can say, for example, I want to search for, I don't know, whatever. And, uh, okay, there is no, okay, he's doing, doing search, there's no value for that search. So now when I do a refresh, it will maintain this value. As you can see, the value is maintained. So let me refresh this again. So the value again is maintained. And I just did that, you know, with just one word code, which is quite interesting with LiveWire because if you understand something like PHP, you could have done session start, session end, store this value, invalidate uh, session, I don't know, all those things. But with LiveWire, just one line of code and you're able to do this. This is really fantastic. And so guys, this brings us to the end of this course this is more of a let me say beginners to intermediate uh, course in live wire and i'll make a more advanced you know single side uh, single lessons for more advanced features which necessarily you might not need uh, to to understand when beginning with live wire and this will include things like file uploads things like computed properties things like caching and all those stuff so with that thank you so much for staying around for watching this uh lessons i hope you have learned and i hope you'll be able to take your career to the next level with live wire and with that uh, leave a like share comment subscribe and until we meet again bye bye